Okay, tonight we're going to have a very quick look at something called Relax OS. Although you can see there's an extra A there. Funny little story behind that, so it seems. So on their website, on the About section here, it says, If you were curious about the name Relax, it's just a spelling mistake, which I did at midnight coding time. And later on, I got a domain name without the error of already exists. So I'm already a fan. This could be the worst distro ever, but the guys cracked me up. So I'm already, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it's amazing. So on the home page here, it's a sort of an independent distribution, so it doesn't appear to be based on anything. It's developed on its own, and development doesn't depend on any other Linux OS. So it does something weird with the hierarchy here. So as you can see, your apps are going to install on a separate hierarchy slash apps so that you can manage your apps and system with stability. I'm probably not going to be a massive fan of that, to be honest, but we're not going to worry about that for too much. So it's lightning fast and highly customized with a smooth and fast workflow. Um, there's a lot of surprises apparently and it's got bundle kits, the bundle of apps and kits to suit your workflow so you need not to set up everything and integrate them. So what we're going to do is install it to this virtual machine now, like I said we are in a virtual machine which I very rarely do, but this ISO just didn't want to work properly on my desktop so we're going to go straight through it with a virtual machine. So here's their installer called Opportunity, so we're going to go for our language which is English Okay, so we're going to select a disk, open partition tool, okay, which is gparted. So we're going to make a new partition table. And as we're on a virtual machine, we won't be using EFI, so we're just going to make the whole thing one partition and click apply. Okay, that should be all good. So does it change? So if we click that again, we then have disk partitions. Can we click next? We can. So SDA is going to wipe out. SDA is going to wipe out, please, I don't know if that sounds right, does it? SDA1 is going to wipe out, please make sure you have not valuable data in... Okay, there's some funny translations, but we won't worry about that for the moment. Right, user accounts. Right, so we're going to install that to disk. So that's English, dev SDA1, user ID is Tyler with a unique, unique ID, there we go. Right, I'm not too sure how long this is going to take to install, so I'm going to pause the video here, and then once that's installed, we'll be back. So it says the time is 8.51 p.m., so we'll make a note of that. Right, so we're back in business, and the clock has barely moved, so it's taken under a minute for that install to actually complete. So if we go to reboot, I'm probably going to have to eject the disk from VirtualBox. Okay, it doesn't want to reboot, so I'm going to pause the video, force it down, eject the disk, and then hopefully it will be onto the installed desktop. Okay, so it appears to all have installed okay. So it seems to be en underscore in, which I think might be India. Yeah, it's India. So it didn't actually give us a choice to change the keyboard layout unless I was just being blind. So we're going to hope that that will log us in. And then let's see if we can change that keyboard layout because we're going to run into some issues with that. So what desktop environment is this? Uh, I think this is XFCE, so it's quite a modified XFCE by the looks of things. So if I type in XFCE, yep, yeah, so it's XFCE terminal. So it's XFCE version 4.14. So let's jump into the settings and see if we can sort out this keyboard. The theming's nice. Right, where are we? Keyboard. Layout. Okay, so there's English India. Let's add English UK. English UK, bang. Right, let's remove all this Indian stuff. Bye, bye. Um, okay, that should be all good. So if we close that now, let's just quickly test the keyboard. Yeah, that appears to be all good. Okay. Right, <laughs> let's have a look around anyway. So it's quite an attractive looking desktop for the most part. I'm gonna change the wallpaper to something a bit lighter so my face isn't so dark. Let's go to conf display. Keep forgetting this is XFCE. No, we want desktop settings is what we want. So what wallpapers do we have? We have this. Okay, that's a bit better, isn't it? That's quite nice as well. Right, we're going to leave it on this wallpaper and then we're just going to have a general look around now. So we have a, is that a panel? Yep, yeah, it's a panel. Is it just a one panel? Let's have a look. Panel preferences. So it's a two panel setup, one panel at the top and one at the bottom. 
so that was the bottom one and that is the top so it is all one panel they've just done some transparency effects there so if we go into appearance you can see the color is fully transparent and now if we go back into panel one let's see what items we have got so we have dock like taskbar hmm i've not actually seen that before then a separator and then we have our workspace switcher which is here and it's on a grid a four-way grid and that's all we've got on there let's just go on to the top panel now see what some of these things that we've got is okay so we've got the whisker menu it does look quite nice the way they set it up there though the theming is actually nice i want to see what theming that is so we have the whisker menu we have timeout clip man is there anything that i'm not too familiar with no that all appears to be fairly standard stuff there doesn't it right let's have a little look around then so let's jump into the appearance package and see what theming this is right so it just says light ui or dark ui so is this a theme that they've made oh it's the quagga relax <laughs> thing i'm just going to say relax okay so it's the quagga relax icon theming and we do have darks so let's see what the dark ui looks like and let's go on to dark icons and then we want to go into window manager and then change the theme on here as well to dark ui there we go that's pretty nice isn't it let's open up funar and see what funar looks like there we go not bad at all i'm going to leave it on the light theme though purely because my lighting in here is being a right pain this evening so let's go to light ui um, and let's go to that one there and then back onto light ui brilliant right so what does it actually come installed with then so we have some links at the on the desktop here one for their community page help and readme.txt welcome to the relax family join our community at community.relax.in report bugs through s complain enjoy bugs okay we'll enjoy some bugs also there are, there is no apt pacman dpkg xpkgs or whatever sys app is the only package manager okay so let's open up a terminal and see what that's all about then let's just type in sys app right so here we go so we install packages with install and the shorthand is in uh, compile and then the shorthand is co so let's try and update with this package manager then so sys app up right we need to have root access let's chuck sudo in front of that right so it's refreshing core repo it's refreshing extra repo it is nice when you use something that you've not used before that's not based on anything because it is more like a sort of exploration as opposed to going oh yeah that's that that's that that's that right it's refreshing base repo so we've got a core an extra and a base is that all the repos we have okay it's taking a little while on this last one here a little weather widget there as well it's quite cool there we go so we are currently in new delhi india oh we've got a change right so it's now refreshing xfce and xorg right so we've got some stuff here bazaar cups double conversion json dash c do you want to upgrade let's do it right so is that done nope still going installing cups registering users and groups done install successfully done interesting right let's um, see what web browser it's got out of the box i'm going to imagine firefox we do so what should we try and install to test this out do we have htop installed no so let's try sys do sudo first sudo sys app in htop so there's no app that exists with htop so it doesn't have htop in their repos there so we're not going to worry about that for now let's open up top let's see what top says at the moment an interesting looking top looks a bit like htop huh. okay let's get out of that and let's see if it's got sys app vim so we already have vim installed so vim is included in their repos there right let's get out of that and just have a little look around and see how things work so applications wise in accessories we have oh application finder so we have a little button there and then can we collapse it nice that's pretty nice to be fair and what can we search for in here let's say funa 
There we go, and then we can just hit enter, and it will open Funa. Very nice to have a nice little built-in application finder there. It looks, it's a bit like sort of Albert almost. Can we make it always be collapsed? Oh, I think I've seen this before actually. Always center the window, always running instance, single window, custom actions, type prefix, general. No, I think it's always gonna, here we go, highest category pane, no. Let's see if that would do it. Well, let's close that. Get out of here. Let's click search. No, I'm sure there's a way. Okay, cool. That's pretty nice to have that on your desktop though. And also we have a show desktop button there. Right, let's see what this comes installed with. Accessories wise, we have archive manager, vim, clipboard, mouse pad is your default text editor. In graphics, you have Inkscape and Restretto image viewer. Internet wise is Firefox and Hexchat. Multimedia, it comes with Parole Media Player, that's okay. I'm not a massive fan of Parole. Pulse Audio for your volume control. In Office, we just have Dictionary. And then all of your settings are here, so it'll mainly be XFCE stuff from what I can tell. Yep. And in the system, we have Bazaar. Let's open this. Right, so this is the app market, so we can install some applications um, on here. So let's go into that office and see what's actually in the office. So they have one office suite that's installed, uh, that's available in here, which is WPS Office, which is not my preference there, so we're not going to install that. We can install NeoFetch, let's install NeoFetch, and then we can demo how this application store works. Okay, that was done fairly quickly, so let's open up a terminal then. And see what the output of NeoFetch is. There you go, there's their little icon there, which of course is like a cartoony penguin. I tell you what, obviously this is all very sort of beta and new and stuff, but so far it's pretty cool. I'm quite liking the way it works. Let's refresh that and then go back into the main page. Right, graphics wise, so at least it's got a GIMP. Let's install GIMP. Let that do its good stuff. Downloading, installing. Very quick to be fair. Doesn't seem to be taking too long to install these packages. GIMP will take obviously a fair bit longer than NeoFetch because NeoFetch is not a large application at all. Right, downloading. Okay, so that is taking a fair bit longer. So we'll leave that. What's inactive? What's this? So we've got a built-in timer. We can do a little rundown timer as well. Do you know what? This might be my new favorite looking XFCE desktop. So I recently done a video on Enzo OS where I said that might be the best looking XFCE desktop, but I think this might take the cake. It does look quite tasty. All right, how are we getting on with that? Okay, so GIMP is installed. So let's open up GIMP and it's GIMP version 2.10.20, which is either the most recent one, I think it is the most recent one actually. Let's open up GIMP and see how GIMP looks on here with the theming and everything else. If it wants to open. Doesn't appear to want to be opening right now. We will do a reboot in a moment and see if we can get that to work. Right, let's go onto their web page and see if there's anything about flat packs and stuff like that. So it's relax <laughs> dot in Okay, so if we go on to their blog, I think they've got a blog entry about it. There we go. Install and set up Flatpak. So let's have a look how this all works. So install Flatpak either from the Bazaar or Sys app for Bazaar. Simply search Flatpak and click on the install. Post fixes. You need to fix some issues with developer which developer missed. Execute the following commands with fix them. Okay, so it does need some new sort of translations done, but that's a you, you can overlook that when something's in this sort of phase of development, to be honest with you. Right, so let's do this then. Let's try and install Flatpak and see if we run into any problems with that. So we're going to go sys app install Flatpak, which does need to use the sudo. Okay, so we're just going to go y. Is that done? No, that's going to take a few seconds, I'm going to imagine. And then we're going to copy these commands over. And then the very last one is the FlatHub repo. Okay, that's done. So let's go bang, bang, bang. 
so that's going to make a soft link no it's doing an LNN so have a look at that there we go and then we've got an echo to home dot profile okay done and now we're going to add the flat hub repo and hopefully that is all well and good we might need to do a reboot for it to work properly though does tend to be the way with flat pack there we go so applications installed by Flatpak may not appear on your desktop until the session is started. So we're going to try and install some applications. Like I said, we might need to do a reboot. So let's open up FlatHub. I wonder if they're also in the store now. So let's go back to the Bazaar store or Bazaar, however it's meant to be said. So let's say Caden Live. No, so it's not found that. So it's not got the plugin for the store from what we can tell. So let's go on to Flatpak here and let's try it with Caden Live. The performance inside this virtual machine is actually very good to be fair. I've only given it, I think, four gig and four cores. So let's go for the command there, Flatpak install. There we go. All right, let's copy that one over. Right, we need to chuck a sudo in there perhaps. Let's try that again. There we go. So it needs a sudo. It won't prompt you for your password. Right, that's installing flat. Uh, that's installing in the Caden Live flat pack. Nice. Let's get out of Bazaar then, and I want to see how it sets up things like Windows snapping and stuff, and make sure that all works like it should on XFCE. So we got one, two, three, and four. Brilliant. Nice. I'm liking this quite a lot, to be fair. Okay. So let's see how our install's going. So what we're going to do is we'll install Caden Live and then we're going to do a final reboot, check out that that all works properly and then we're going to wrap it up there. I will leave a link in the description to this ISO but bear in mind it is in beta and some things won't work as you'd expect them to and you'll run into bugs. But like the developer says, you, you best enjoy them bugs. Like one of those guys from Men in Black or something. Um, anything else I want to have a look at here? All application, system, no not really. Right, that's still going. That's going to take a few more seconds. It should be done now. Bang. Right, let's see if it's already in our application launcher. It isn't, so we're going to do a reboot for the final time and just see if everything's working as it should. But no, I'm, I'm definitely liking this so far. Obviously, there's going to be some rough edges that do need to be ironed out. Right, I also quite like the login screen as well. So let's log in. Let's get rid of this little pop up there. And let's see if those flat packs have worked as they should. So let's type in Caden Live. No, we don't appear to have any flat pack appearing there at the moment. It's a bit strange, isn't it? Let's go back onto their website and see if there's anything that we missed when we were reading that. Uh, they've got a video tutorial there. Like I said, I'll link this all in the description below. Um, I think we've done it all like we were supposed to, haven't we? Never mind. Anyway, we're going to wrap it up there. But I think it's got a bit of potential, this one. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and join the Discord. There'll be a link in the description. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.